Hello again, everyone. Peter, Third Coast Percussion, talking more about uh, some of these instruments uh, that we're building uh, for our project together. Um, this, uh, what I want to talk about now is actually just mallets. Um, we're going to be using uh, two types of mallets, or two types of mallet heads, on some of these instruments. Uh, we're going to be using soft mallets and hard mallets, and I'll describe those, uh, the materials of those in a second. Um, we are using a soft mallet to play on the log drum, as it stands right now. But we won't be using a hard mallet uh, for the log drum, just a soft mallet. On the metal pipes, we will be using both soft mallet and a hard mallet. Um, so, uh, in terms of a soft mallet, um, it just needs to create a warmer sound. And actually, I'm going to be using just some uh, more professionally designed mallets. Uh, uh, just to give you an example, this is one of the metal pipes here. Um, and if I was to play with the soft mallet, just get a little bit more of a muted, uh, soft uh, type of tone. Um, and if I was to play the same instrument in the same way with a hard mallet, just much sharper, much harsher uh, type of attack. Uh, attack. Um, so uh, those are the two sound qualities that we're looking for um, out of this mallet. Uh, in experimenting uh, with a couple of sort of like practical ideas on how to create these mallets, we've actually, um, you know, just been using uh, basic wooden dowels and wooden beads. Um, and this would be the hard mallet component. So, it's this really simple material, wooden dowel, wooden bead, glued at the very top of it, and uh, that'll be our hard mallet sound. Very simple, these are not heavy, you know, so uh, we don't have to worry about them, uh, you know, destroying any of the instruments or uh, hurting kids or anything like that. Um, and then uh, for the soft mallet, uh, there's a couple different ideas we've been running with. Um, uh, there's a, using a rubber ball, a little super ball right here, on the end of a wooden dowel. That's one um, solution. You can hear this. Creating more of a soft, muted type of sound. Um, there might be some complications with this in that it, it's actually starting to split the rubber uh, of the ball. What uh, what I've seen a lot, and actually what is used a lot in more uh, in you know professionally designed mallets, um, if you can see this right here, um, the core of this mallet is just a hard rubber, right? Uh, but on on the outside is actually uh, just this latex tubing. This is like surgical tubing. You can really just find this uh, in most um, uh, pharmacies and stuff. Uh, uh, anyway, you wrap this around the side and. Uh, and it, with that extra latex tubing, it will just uh, create a softer sound. So what I'm envisioning is actually using, uh, you know, a wooden ball like this and wrapping some just latex tubing around it. Um, or if you wanted, you could use a bunch of rubber bands and almost create a rubber band ball around uh, uh, this, this wooden ball. Basically anything so that we're using um, as little materials as possible. Uh, just to keep it really practical. But then again, you know, getting those two distinct uh, sound qualities. Um, I'm also envisioning that rather than having a bunch of just separate mallets, uh, we can actually have a mallet head on either side of this wooden dowel. So on one side would be uh, the hard wooden side, on the other side would be you know that rubber wrapped or latex wrapped um, soft mallet. So um, uh, we want the students who are playing the metal pipes are going to have to have uh, two of the rubber mallets. So that meant that if we were doing a double sided mallet, they would have to have two for them. And uh, for the log drum players, uh, they are only going to have to have access to the, uh, the softer mounts, uh, and they only need one of them. Um, so that's it. Uh, obviously, the people playing the recorders and, and anybody who's playing the, or everybody who's playing the, the shakers, but we don't need mounts to play the shakers, and we don't need mounts to play the recorders. So we're really just talking about the metal pipes and um, the log drum. So uh, this is kind of a simple element, uh, but an important one. Uh, once again, if you have any questions uh, as you're uh, coming up with the design of uh, these mallets or any of the instruments uh, that we're using for this project, uh, don't hesitate to contact us. We're, we're really excited about this project. Uh, we're really excited to see some of the solutions uh, that you all come up with. And we're, of course, really excited to see the, the finished product. It's really going to be amazing to hear 
you know, 350 fifth graders playing on all of these instruments together in the DeBartolo Center. It's going to be a really beautiful sound. Um, it's a really interesting pro project. Uh, there's nothing quite like it that we've ever heard of before. Um, it's really exciting. So we're excited to work with you all. Um, please have fun with this and just let us know um, if you have any questions and need any help. Thanks a lot.